the engineering problem of designing aerial platform has been afforded by engineers in several ways in, by the fact that it reflects the problem of mechanical integrity, so structural mechanical integrity and stability. Stability in the past was simply a question of counterbalancing the overturning moment of the aerial platform with the weight of the truck, of ballast and of the subframe. So essentially the aerial platform were simply outreaching and going as high as the stability were allowed them to do. Then engineers start to understand that it was possible to go higher than they were outreaching. To do that they first put cams and interlocks so to prevent the platform to outreach more when they were horizontal and start to extend only over a certain angle of the main telescopic boom. And after that, from hydraulic, they moved to electronic, so there were micro switches and sensors that were allowing the platform to go higher than they were allowed to do and to outreach. Then over time, with the introducing of PLC and microcomputer on board of aerial platform, there were essentially two systems to allow the platform to outreach less than they were going higher. The first one was a moment limiting system. Essentially, the engineers were able to uh, measure the pressure inside the lifting cylinder and from the pressure obtain the force acting on the lifting cylinder of the main telescopic boom. And from there, they were able to estimate and calculate the overturning moment of the platform and comparing those values with the stabilizing moment of the truck and of the subframe. All these calculations were done inside the technical department. Another way was to calculate some working envelope curves, so some areas where the platform and the basket were supposed to go. Over time, this system evolved even in more working envelope depending on the load on the basket. So we were able to have one working envelope for 120 kilograms, one working envelope for 200 kilograms, and one working envelope for the maximum nominal load that we were allowed to have in the basket. Then, engineers start to realize that on the back, platform were able to outreach more than on the side or on the front. So we started to have more working envelope depending on the area where we were working and then we started to provide an offer platform that were able to work also with narrow jacking so we were having different working envelope depending on the side and on which side the uh, outriggers were deployed over time we were even able to offer different working envelope depending on different step and different uh, position of the outrigger at the end of the day there was a lot of working envelope, a lot of work, more than even 50, 60, 100. Some of us also have almost 20, 30,000 different points and different configuration to allow for all the different stability and situation. At CTE, we've always been focused on safety and performance. And for us, it's very, very important to provide you with the best that the technology can offer. That's why we invented, almost then three years ago, the Smart Stability System. A system that has all the information that the machine needs to have, the center of gravity of every single part, the weight in the basket, the CG of the truck, the position of the outriggers, and the machine is capable of calculating by herself more than 10 times per second the exact maximum performance of the machine. And every time you're able to go back at the same exact point, taking into consideration wind, taking into consideration dynamic forces, taking into consideration the load in the basket at the kilo. We can proudly say that probably this system is the most advanced on the market on this kind of truck, on three and a half ton. So stay tuned for more information and for more uh, technical capabilities of the Smart Stability System.